Oh boy, I don't have the right skill. He's a spicy meatball. Uh, what do we got? Forbidden power, a bale fire. Hoping to see if I could find the sanctum entrance and get a, a sanctum room, but Oh god, there's an Einhar mission here too. I'm good. I'm good. I'm dead. Increase scorching ray beam length. I wonder if we should go, if I should do frozen cabins and try to get the freeze immunity. We don't have to run it special. We could just run it as is. It just, I'm a little nervous, but. I'm gonna do it. It would let me reroll the flask, potentially. I have to be real careful though, because this is gonna be just slow and steady, but not so slow that we stand still and get blasted by things. We want to make sure we're still moving, but just engaging mobs at a slow pace.
so far this map at least doesn't feel so bad although like I said I am worried that it's gonna be like the thing that kills me isn't gonna be like a gradual thing it's gonna be like a, oh okay like <laughs> I guess we're dead so like it probably is gonna feel fine until it doesn't <laughs> Like, it's either going to be a one hit from a big hit, or it's going to be something like, like one barrage from like a bunch of ranged guys that hit me with multi proj and like the multi proj shotguns, and I basically get hit by seven projectiles at once. And it's going to be like, oh, well. Okay. If I keep going like slow-ish, that's one thing I like about this map. Because it's relatively straightforward, I can kind of keep all my minions out in front. It does channel a lot of damage my direction though, which makes me a little nervous. Like there's pluses and minuses to, you know. I wonder if I should have skipped this, because it's going to make the whole area higher. I'm really worried about that guy, like, actually killing me, though. The sword guy, because, like, he can hit for a lot of damage. Like, he hits for an unethical amount of damage. Like, I don't know if it can crit, but, like, if I take a, a heavy hit from him, it takes a lot of my health away. I'm not sure how much we're talking at this point. But he can hit for a solid hit. I don't know why he hit, like, nobody in the Sanctum really does any damage except Lycia and the Sword Guy. It just seems kind of weird to me. <laughs> like, okay? Like... Not today. Not today. Ice hole. Don't I have something? Yeah, maximum resolve when you use a fountain. I don't have to click on him anymore because I'm not using an Arcanist brand. I'm just, I'm just casting my, my anger. I also just got to remember to like preload my spirits. 
Like that goes a long way too. Sword guy. If if I'm in a place where I can just kind of go back and forth and only worry about sword guy, it's actually really easy to just like walk through his attack and not get hit by it. You know? And honestly, I think there's a weird like sweet spot because of the change they made for the random, like for the melee players. If you're close to him, it's not that bad. It's like really, it's a, if you're at the tip of his sword, that's like the worst place to be, I think. Tome Relic. Not always taken to the room you select, that's rough. I wonder if we should go this way so we can maybe do something fun at the accursed pacts. to do the fight room again, but... guy sword guy was that a chin soul the the bow we got
Resolve recovered. Reduced merchant prices. Remove hemorrhage. No, I'm good. <laughs> Monsters impact more resolve. That's not great. But they also do less damage, which is pretty good. Ow, that was a bit of a hit. I didn't care for. I kind of got, he jumped into a really rough spot. Like he jumped into a spot that I did not care for. Ooh, oh man, decisions, decisions. Out we go. I was actually in there going, oh, I forgot to take the, take the Divine Vessel out. And then I was like, no, we didn't finish the map yet. What is going on? I was like, where is he? Now we've got freeze immunity, so now we can roll this flask. What is this relic? 46 maximum when you kill a boss. It's not awful. You know what I should do, actually? Um, instead of re-rolling this one, because it's not got any quality on it, I should come in here and grab this one. Then we can quality, whoops, quality it, and then we can try to roll it. You know, I wouldn't say no to poison immunity. 
Oh wait, this is a jade flask, not a quartz flask. I'm a dummy. Do I have another quartz flask? I don't have another quartz flask. That's why I was gonna roll this one. Only an item level 54, which is not my favorite. Ooh, increased evasion during effect. Yes, please. That's kind of worthless, but okay. Okay, so not from a perspective of gaining points, but I felt like that map was very runnable. Which is probably not great because it's probably going to make me be like, "Ooh, I can, I can survive things that I shouldn't be able to." But the experience is—I mean, it's not great, but it is better. We'll keep an eye. Really, the zombies and the specters, like they're sort of my canary in the coal mine. Like, if all my shit's dying super fast, then I want to get out of dodge. An odd place for the door to be. I'm not, I'm always scared. I don't know how far away the corpse detonation goes. So I'm just like, get out of Dodge! Get out! <laughs> oh, this needed to be rare, not, not blue. Whoops. probably why I wasn't running very many of them because I don't have the chaos orbs to sustain re-rolling and like I don't want to die due to a bad roll That's true, it really doesn't. Orbs of Unmaking, like if I could get the Orbs of Unmaking to make Abyss a little, get the uh, extra experience from Abyss and get into those points, that would be more helpful. Precision Aura? Nope, that's, that's a good way to die.
I guess what I'll do to, to if I want any points from like rares, I'll just use Kirax maps. And if they're like, if I think they're doable, I'll do one. And then it won't, then it won't hose up my resources. That's going to be my plan. I think I'm going to finish running these, though, because I got these all queued up. It'd be a shame not to run them. anything I have that's incomplete oh I do have some that are incomplete that are white maps pier and promenade where are those at that needs to be a rare map pier doesn't I could get it from spider layer or vol pyramid I think I could probably actually run that one. That one probably not. <laughs> but I think I could run this one. Those guys can be scary. I think they're. I think their projectiles can shotgun. Yeah, all my zombies are dead. The canaries. The canaries are dead. But that's an enemy type I know to watch out for. So I think we'll be okay. done a vol area since like early white maps they have gotten very scary Hello. like it's like uh no thank you like would you like to end your gauntlet run right now mm, no thank you <laughs> Sanctum gives a surprisingly good amount of experience, too, in terms of trying to level.
Oh god, the abyss went into areas that I didn't have cleaned out yet. Ghastly Eye Jewel. Not a great one, but we can roll it. Inferno Bolt when hit. Yeah, when I haven't even I haven't even gotten the node that's extra experience from Abyss Monsters yet. Like if I can some of it's getting going from area level 70 to 72. Oh god, this is this is bad though. The canaries are dying. Extra lightning damage and exposure, extra chaos damage? No, I don't think we'll be doing your mission today, Kirak. Like, let's be honest what we were here for all along. I probably don't need to worry about, like, saving scarabs. Like, if I have ones like the Reliquary, I should just use. Yeah. I'm here for the Atlas Point. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm here for. Traps and mines. Not gonna need that one. Oh crap! I need some dead bodies. Oh. Extra experience. I don't think I'm gonna go for the plus three levels because like that's that's gonna that's what's gonna make it rippy. Like plus that's only good in the in the underground, and then you really need the other one to get it. Fifty monsters remain. Yikes. Where the hell are they? They're probably down this stretch. It's gonna be a sudden huge boost. Where are all the monsters at? I left like a whole group alive. Somewhere. Oh well. Let's see what this is. Minions have chaos resistance and extra life for me. That skills chain extra times, that's, that's rippy. Yeah, right. Um, I also have to watch out because area, okay, I have until area 78. So if I was in a 75 map feeling good and went down into a 78, not only would it be three levels harder for the normal di difficulty increase, but it would also jump into the next phase of gauntlet difficulty. So it, it, it would be a very sudden like, whoa, look out kind of thing. Hey, we could try to fight at Ziri. I don't think I want to. I'm just saying we could if we wanted to. <laughs> 
right? We're not going for gauntlet points. We're going for we're going for level 90. That's what we're hoping for. I'm still alive that ran over here. Uh, another, another guy. Something else is still alive. Isn't it? Yeah. There we go. I forget which one is the one that pulls up the like explodey balls. That's the one I have to watch out for. I don't remember which creature that is, but that's the one I gotta watch out for. Right? I mean they should, but I always run in a big circle anyways. I'm very careful not to not to take that opening volley. That's a, that's a good one, Legacy. Just sit there right in front of where his slam is and take it. I died to a bear slam one gauntlet in like act six or something. I was like, we're doing fine. Or no, it was, I think it was when I was still the really hard gauntlet. It was in act two. I was like, everything's going great. And then I got to the bears and I just like forgot what I was doing. And I got slammed by like a whole group of bears at once. And it was like, well, that was fun. You never know what it's going to be.
unbearable. Yes. Indeed, Rian. That is exactly what it was. We're going to hold off on triggering that abyss for now till we get things a little bit more cleared out. Kill the spirit. <laughs> I specced into spirits one time and I didn't realize how they like how you were supposed to make them work like that you want to chase them into a, a creature and then kill them and I was like man this is lame I'm not getting anything Siphons flask charges. Excuse you? Some scrolls? Mm, no, don't really want any of those jewels. What's the trial? Just a, a tier 15 corrupted map? Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> or at six o'clock. Careful, one of the few boss fights where it's not over when it's over. <laughs> now there will be more monsters, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. What we got here? Minions deal 53% increased damage. The problem is I need some resistances because this has resistances. But I've been wanting to get back to a minion. I'm wondering if I want the damage from this. Or if I want the... What is this giving me? What is the percent... What is the chance of offerings giving me? Oh, 18,000 DPS. Alright, I guess enough. <laughs> Honestly, with the regeneration that I have from my ascendancy, I could probably get rid of regenerate life while moving. Right? Because my ascendancy gives me... My ascendancy gives me... Once every four seconds, regenerate 30% of my life over one second. I'm just trying to see where I could get some points back. If anywhere.
I think that's the only place. annoying thing is I don't have a lot of points to like make to tre to test things but I just because I'm always moving on this build it just feels like a smart thing to have that 2% you know it just it feels like a good decision I have 92 orbs of chance. I'm trying to see if I could buy some orbs of orbs of unmaking, but they're it's expensive because you got to go chance to scours to regrets to orbs of unmaking. It's not it's not a good return. Ooh, reduced attribute requirements. That's it's not unuseful. I'm not messing with Maven. <laughs> Just BT dubs. Hard pass. Yeah, I think the damage is worth it. Ooh, ignites and explodes. All for two transmutes. Really not worth it other than getting the you know, the surge of monsters. to gather my will. Nothing.
Ooh, two chaos orbs. Very nice. Sixteen chances for one I'm making. Okay. I don't need a whole lot. I'm just thinking I'm going to point out of Syndicate and get some of the stuff that I think makes it easier to to do some leveling. I got, I got the one guaranteed shrine. Kind of, I hit that and then I forgot what I was doing. I just started defending like there was stuff attacking me. There's a crystal one. I should see if there's any interesting um, anointments I can do that are cheap. Juggernaut might be a cool anoint. I'll look here in a minute. Because like, frankly, anything that's like, you know, health or armor or, you know, the ones that aren't sexy from a damage perspective. Looks like a middle finger. Did I go in there? I don't think I did. Twenty four percent armor. I could be helpful. I don't have very many high level oils. I don't have very many oils at all. Like I think almost everything requires one high level oil.
What do I have? I don't have much. I have one, at least one of everything all the way up to indigo. <laughs> Is there anything I can get that doesn't go that high? Powerful bond. Let's see here. Take a peek around and see what we got here. Sepia, sepia, ooh, golden. I don't have golden. Clear black. Um, I guess, do they get more expensive the further out you go? Because they kind of seem to. Do a little Google search here. Poe amulet anointments requirement. There's a list of anointments. What if I just say like, let's just search by my best, my best one. Lesson, but I don't. I don't have a, I don't have as high up as black. It's not what I got with indigo, indigo, indigo. I got powerful bond. I think this list is out of date. That makes it harder. This combination has no effect. No effect. No effect. Divine fervor? Eh, it doesn't help us much. Bastion Breaker. All right. But what if I want to do it this way? Fifteen percent increased flask charges gained. 
Life flask gain two charges every three seconds. Mana flask gain two charges every three seconds. That's not awful in the realm of like, what can we do? Yeah, it's not max life. Amber, Azure, Crimson. Amber, Violet, Violet. Chance to suppress spell damage, max life, increased evasion rating. Just 30 to strength gives us 417, but what is that? Um, what was the one that gave us the evasion or the intuition? It gives us 4,000 effective hit pool. That's amber, violet, violet. Intuition is max life. Here, I'll show POB. Intuition is 8% chance to suppress spell, 15% evasion. I mean, it's only 5% max life, but... That would give me this point back if I wanted to take it as well. Once we get out of the once we get out of the red, okay. I think intuition is what we should go with now. And we can always change it, right? Like, if I get better ones, I can always change it, but amber violet violet seems like our best. I mean the flasks seemed okay, but I'm not really having a huge problem with flasks, and I'll take a little 